Hey guys, this is Rick at Taste of Guitar. Of all the things you can do to really get some funky phrasing in your lead plan, for me, using sextuplets is the secret sauce. Now, if you're a little unsure of how to count sextuplets, basically it's six equal notes in the time of one quarter note. Now, it's also really important to be able to tell the difference between sixteenth notes and sextuplets. Here's sixteenths. Four notes per beat, six tuplets. Now probably one of the most common and important phrasing patterns you need to learn when starting to use these sextuplets is just by hitting the first and the last three notes in that six note grouping. That's going to sound like this. Now a really easy way to start putting this in lick form is to do an exercise just using the pentatonic scale descending. Something like this. One more time. Okay, I'll now show you a couple licks using this phrasing pattern. Okay, so let's slow this way down now. We got the metronome at 60 beats per minute. Alright, so let's slow this one way down. We got the metronome at 60 beats a minute again. I'm going to start off by sliding into the 11th fret. Now, if you're doing the timing right, you're going to land on this F note right on beat 2. That's really important to make sure you get your time. Right there. Landing on the downbeat. Now another common phrasing pattern you'll hear using these six templates is to hit the first four of the six note grouping. That would sound like this. Okay, we're going to slow this one way down now here. Again, the metronome at 60 beats a minute. Going to start on beat 4. Again. So this phrasing pattern works especially well in pentatonic because it's basically two groups of two notes, so it kind of works well there. Now don't confuse these with sixteenths. Now remember sixteenths are four equal notes. Thank you so much for coming by today guys and checking out this lesson on six tuplets. I really suggest you slow this stuff way down at first and make sure you got the timing really precise. That's a really important part of this. And then start plugging your own licks into those phrasing patterns. Now as you go about learning this phrasing, I really suggest you listen to some key people where you can really hear this in context in their plan. 
uh, George Benson, probably the most obvious choice. His stuff is loaded with all these six tuplet type of licks. Uh, Grant Green, Danny Gatton, and also the organ greats like Johnny Smith, uh, Joey DeFrancesco, Jack McDuff, all over there playing as well. As always, if you did enjoy the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe, and come by tastyguitar.com where I have a lot of other free lessons for you, and I do offer private instruction via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you.